What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to run a new image through our convolutional neural network with PyTorch and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to run a new image through our CNN. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, so we've pretty much finished everything with our convolutional neural network. Now, what if you have an image you want to run through the model? So you've got an image of some number, you want to find out what it is. You want the CNN to tell you what it is. How do you do that? Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's come down here and let's just grab an image. So we can do that. We've got all this test data in here. We'll just use that since it's nice and handy. And we can just pick one. So I could say image 41, 43. Remember, there's what? 10,000 of these or something. And this is going to give us a tensor with an image in it. And at the end, it shows the label. So we can see exactly what it is. So if we run this, we can see here's our tensor with all kinds of stuff in it. But then at the end, you can see, oh, that's a nine. If we run something else, 41, 46, I don't know, any random number, you can see this one is a zero. But let's stick with the 41, 43, because I don't know, why not? We've got an image. Now let's grab just the data. So we don't want that label. I mean, it was nice to look and see what it is, but we don't actually need the label. So let's go test underscore data. And that was 4143. And then we could just index the zeroth item of this list, right? So if we run this, it shows just the, the tensor, but without the little label at the end. So, okay, we've got that. Now we should probably reshape this guy. So let's go test underscore data. And again, this is 4143. And we index it on the zeroth one. And then we want to dot reshape this guy into a 28 by 28 image. That is not how you spell 28. There we go. And if we run this, all right, that looks good. Let's just show the image just to make sure that this is what we think it is. So let's show the image. And so let's go plt dot image show. And then we can just come up here and grab all of this if we want, paste it in here just for fun, shift enter to run this and boom, that's definitely a nine. It's kind of a blocky nine. So I don't know, maybe we'll be able to predict it or discern what it is using our model. Let's see, let's find out. So let's pass the image through our model. So to do that, we call model.eval. Let's go with torch dot no grad. We want a new prediction. And let's set this equal to our model. And then we just pop in our, our image here. But instead of reshaping it here, we want to view it as a one by one by 28 by 28. This is basically just a batch size of one. That's the first one, uh, one color channel, and then a 28 by 28 image. That's pretty much all we have to do. Go ahead and shift in to run this. Let's check the new prediction. This is basically going to get probabilities. So let's go new underscore prediction, which is just this guy right here, of course. So shift enter to run this, and we see the probabilities. Okay, but this doesn't really help us. We need the biggest one of these. So these are the probabilities that it's a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But of course, we need the biggest one. That's going to tell us what the highest probability of the thing is. So we just call our new prediction dot argmax. And we see tensor nine, which is definitely what this is. So really, that is all there is to it. And we could do this with any image with any uh, image in our test data or any image that you have, you could just pull it in here. Uh, we could say uh, 1978. I don't know what that is. Oh, let's go 1978. Oh, it looks like it's a four. So we could do this again there. And let's go 1978. And then let's look at it just to see how good of a four it looks. And that looks kind of janky. I mean, that could almost be a seven, right? I don't know. Is it going to work? Let's see. Come through here and 1978. Shift enter to run this guy, shift enter to run this guy, shift enter to run this guy, and tensor four. Sure enough, figured it out. 
And that's really all there is to it. So those are convolutional neural networks. Took us a little while to get through, but really not that difficult. I think you'll agree. And uh, a lot of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.